Hi there, it's Tim uh, with Far North Magic. Uh, Going to be looking at uh, the uh, Reap the Tide deck that is, uh, I feel, kind of underappreciated. At least I've been able to find with, uh, like, the bigger, the bigger stores have had them at a much higher price. But I've been able to find, sn stay, uh, snag some deals with uh, some of the smaller game stores or even like another place that um, is a good lookout for decks is uh, sports card stores that have uh, online presence. Uh, I've checked some out from various times. A lot of the time they're, they're more than what you can find other places, but uh, sometimes you can find some deals, like uh, a number of times I found a lot of uh, Commander 2018 when they had all shot up, um, even like the Mystic Intellect deck for Commander 2019, that's the one with the Dockside Extortionist in it. Uh, I was able to find those for like 50 bucks while everywhere else had the Dockside for a lot more so um, what's predicated me looking at this was I found a store uh, that I end up buying all of them from uh, for $23 so I end up buying a whole bunch of them <laughs> um, and I'm gonna probably end up piecing out most of them and then keeping um, some sealed for the future. So I'm looking to, uh, it's kind of a long process that's kind of dumb, but, uh, and most of the time going through the process, I, I feel that I should just get the few that I'm gonna keep sealed, but then uh, what's the fun in that? Like part of the thing, the, process is the uh, the grind and liking to grind um, cards and trading up and like uh, being able to trade into either a, a, a box or a duel or something even like something else that you're looking to do or building into I don't know a piece of power or another reserve list card that you've been looking to get or a grade card nowadays like when I was doing my original grinding years and years ago um, grading wasn't a thing so um, so today we're gonna look at the reap the tide deck I end up getting a bunch of them at $23 I've been able to get a few uh, other copies at big box stores or GameStop or, uh, as I say, even I got some from sports card stores over time or, uh, I don't know, just, it's not necessarily worth going out of your way for it, but this is one of the best ones and like, I feel in the 20... $25 range it is uh, and coming up on uh, within the next month with like maybe Black Friday or uh, whatnot maybe stores that have had these kicking around for the last year maybe they will look at moving them out clearing out the space making the space for some other new product or uh, just getting it out of their out of the way because I'm tired of looking at it so this is again with you get a deck box the little instructional pamphlet thing and also the life wheel which boy golly I have to find a use for these because I got about hundreds but 
it is what it is. And then we got the deck. We got the the AC Tyrant of Kyre Strait. And this little guy's been, well, maybe not little, but this guy's like kind of like a, a bit of a bigger Tatiova, kind of. You had to play an extra land though, but the extra card draw. So it is a very useful card in Commander. Uh, though I kind of think like it got gets kind of a little uh, less play as the Commander because of like Coma. I I'd probably build the Coma, but I don't know. So this deck has like the most amount of cards that I would consider like useful for tearing apart, let alone like cards that just seem to have like really good uh, value, even on like halfway decent buy list prices on uh, a bunch of them, just because they're staples. So. I guess that's the thing with a lot of the green staples. They've come down. Uh, but there's kind of like a floor. So. Well. Dropping. So we got like Arcane Denial starting us off. And that's one that's actually a decent card around a dollar. Like the on. Like when I pulled up the deck list on Goldfish. Doing my preliminary like work of like looking at the deck seeing what a bunch of the cards are going for seeing what um cards are going for retail cards are going for buy list is it a 50 dollar deck but all the cards are 50 cents or is there like one big card only or two big cards or a whole bunch of cards that like you can get decent uh, percentages on so this one um, it, like the, this uh, bunch of reap the tight decks cost me $26 the top 11 cards they're all over a dollar retail in the they're over a dollar in on the that goldfish uh, page and it was over $32 and then the top four cards were over, they were only over $2 each, but uh, that was over $20. It was over 22 So, um, with there being a lot more reprintings of some of the cards, it's also made like certain cards get crushed down. So, you got like a I guess an example is like uh, Cultivate used to be over a dollar pretty easily and now like Corset printing, Commander printing, Commander printing, Commander printing, like a hundred extra printings, but, or not a hundred, but so many printings all in a row. Um, you've got it down like way down to like 50 cents, 30 cents. Uh, whereas you got like Kadama's Reach that is still over a dollar and almost like a dollar fifty ish, two dollars range type thing. So, um, there's just how things go with the extra printings, but, uh, it's also like you can end up like maybe. You can't like flip those Kadama, the cultivates anymore, but you can like do some uh, throw ins with them or something to get, even if you're giving up a little bit of value, you can gain um, like, oh yeah, like he's a great guy to trade with or a great person to trade with because he didn't like quibble over like the pennies. It wasn't, oh, I uh, had $18.30 and he had eighteen thirty-two, and he wanted the two cents type thing. So, um, so for cards that are 
cards that I consider better. You got the AC to start, you got Arcane Denial, then we got the Counterspell, you got the Factor Fiction, which is decent, uh, into the Royal, the Ruin Expedition. You got a Mold Drifter, that one's got crushed down, but it's still a decent, useful card. And that's part of the thing, like, Mold Drifter's not really worth anything anymore, but it's very playable at least, so you're not getting stuck with, like, a couple really good cards and then, like, all the rest of the cards being 20 cents and, like, just b complete bulk. Uh, Acidic Slime's another one of the cards that has got reprinted so many times now that it's not worth anything, but... Again, it's still a useful card that uh, at least has some playable uh, playability. You got uh, Beast Within. That's again been kind of crushed down, but it's still pretty uh, pretty good. You got Cultivate. That's kind of. And we got Eternal Witness. I'm surprised that hasn't actually got crushed down. I guess like it has got crushed down. It's not a five dollar card anymore. It's like a three dollar card, like three four dollar card, for the most part, depending on what printing. Got Explorer. You got Harmonize. That one's got crushed down. The Expedition. You got the Kadamas Reach. Like even Rampant Growth. Like it's been reprinted a whole bunch of times, but like you could still. Like, I still get asked for them from time to time, surprisingly. Uh, the Rex Age, the Retreat, got the Search for Tomorrow, that got crushed down with a couple printings and also Time Spiral Remastered. The Spore Mound that saw some uh, increase in play with uh, some Sapperling decks at one point. Wicker Bow used to be the same with the Elder. Uh, Growth Spiral actually has held up a little better, though again, it's only like 20, 30 cents. I thought it'd be like a penny, a nickel. Got the uh, Simic Charm. Then your two other new cards were the Trench Behemoth and the Stump Squalor Hydra. Those are both basically just bulk at this point. Then you got another bunch of bulk rares effectively because like the the values just basically call like consolidated into the handful of like really really good cards so you got the elder the maluku not that those had super high demand uh nezahol's actually held up better than i was kind of expecting being around like a couple dollars with uh like a dollar fifty two bucks and uh even holding like a fairly high buy list compared to like a dollar like a two dollar card. I figured it'd be like fifty cents, forty cents, like uh but I've seen them as high as a dollar. Not that that's setting the world on fire or even getting you a cup of coffee or anything. Then just like your usual sphinx, uh, sphinxes and leviathans and cra krakens. Got Whelming Wave, which is again not... It's not absolute bulk, but it's pretty close to bulk. And then uh, another big reason for liking this deck is the Avenger Zendikar, which... Um, at the very least has super high playability in basically any green deck with any landfall synergy. But even after like this printing, double masters, a layer, a secret layer, and uh, where else was it? I don't remember. It's like Commander 18, then com this one. It's got a lot of reprints, considering. And like Goldfish had it at 7. 
I know a lot of stores in Can in Canada where I am is like eight, nine or ten dollars, so like that's a good chunk of the deck value. And that's at least a at least a playable card, not just like a Molomore Morrow Sorcerer or a Rampaging Payloff that they might be fifty cent cards on some website, but they're not gonna do anything for you and you're gonna have to get rid of them as near bulk or bulk. Got a Ramnap Excav Excavator as another one of the better cards in this deck. And uh, Tracidon, that seems to get reprinted all the time. This guy even, Virgin Sun Avatar, I was like surprised to see it. Just, I don't know. Fathom Mage, the Merktide, uh, Merkfiend Leech. Uh, that was a really expensive card at one point with uh, the, just the Eventide printing, but then has since got, uh, was put in like Commander 13, then the, uh, then an Anthology, then now this. So it's going to take a long time to rebound, and I figure it will just be one of those like relatively okay cards that gets uh, just put in the reprint in every Simic or nearly every Simic commander deck going forward in that like kind of rotation. So it probably won't rebound. We got this guy. Why do they print this again? It's been an image to see your sundial. And then we're back to some common uncommon artifacts. Like even like signets, they are not worth a whole lot. But you can still get some, like, throw-in trade value for them. Or, like, sometimes the Simics or uh, the Signets are still 25 50 cents. So, uh, and then we got the Soul Ring and the Swiftfoot Boots. Um, as being over a dollar to two dollars. And we got the, I, like, the part of the main problem with these decks is the land base is just not that great. But you also get a Reliquary Tower, which is pretty good. Because it's, like, a lot of the time around 2 $3 for just a Reliquary Tower. Which I would have thought, like, he, I would have thought it would have been a lot less with getting reprinted as many times as it has but I guess just I have the like I don't use it in any of my decks so I have that like as a blind spot which is kind of unfortunate and then we just got a lot of basics at the back and then you got your tokens so um, overall um, I think um, if you can find this deck on a deal, uh, with Black Friday and such coming up, I think it's going to, it's a steal. Um, just because there's a lot of value. And even if you just tear at the certain chunks that like you're getting, uh, a lot of cards that are useful other places and uh, you're able to kind of get a package deal for a discount um, but um, even with grabbing a bunch of these I think that if I can find them on another deal come like next month I still might pick up some more um, but we'll just have to see I know a lot of places uh, when I've seen them under 30 they get picked up pretty quick at least 30 in Canada and a few of the US sites I 
looked at are around 30 to like the 20 mid 20s to 35 so um there's not as much of a value proposition there but with i feel that if you can find some stores that might be blowing these out come Black Friday, they might be an underrated pickup for a very low buy-in to get a bit of value. So, um, kind of just got rambling there, but okay. So if, uh, Um, I thank you guys for stopping by and, uh, I think there might be a couple, one or two more, uh, specific, uh, ones in this. I might try and find like just a one random thing every month or something after this, like little flurry of them to, I don't know if it would be spotlight, but look at and, uh see as uh, something that might be a bit of an untapped uh, potential for uh, for value uh, going forward. So if uh, you could give me any feedback, that would be appreciated. And I thank you all for stopping by and uh, just putting up with my ramble. <laughs> today so uh thanks again and i hope you have a good rest of your day uh, take care and uh i hope you have a good day and see you next time bye